Hi there, welcome back to the VMO YouTube channel. This is Jansen from VMO, and today I'm going to be talking to you all about fishing weights. Now, fishing weights, sinkers, leads, whatever you want to call them, it recently occurred to us that there is such a big selection out there that the would-be shore angler is probably bamboozled by the variety. Well, today I'm going to go through most of the popular types of leads and explain to you exactly what they're used for. So one of the most popular types of sea fishing weight you would have seen is the breakaway. Now this thing has been around a long, long time. I think it came around somewhere about the 1980s and it was designed as a lead that would anchor into the bottom. Now it's actually got these wires, as you'll see, and this is a five ounce lead. The color of the rollers on the wires is yellow. Yellow is, is generally a color which is associated with a five ounce lead or 150 grams to, to put it in modern terms. So the idea with the original breakaway lead is that it would actually anchor into the seabed but when you pull for a break these wires will actually trip just like that and on that side too and this means that it'll actually anchor in the bottom but when you go to retrieve it the wires will trip and you'll be able to retrieve your tackle. But as I say, this is probably one of the most popular leads that you'll see in use on the beach today. They start off at around 90 grams or three ounces, and they go up to about 200 grams, which is seven ounces. So off the back of the standard breakaway lead, sometime later, around about the mid nineties, they brought out the impact lead. So exactly the same principle. It's got these wires around the outside, which break out on retrieve. But the really clever thing about this particular lead is that it incorporates a bait clip. And you'll see this disc here, or dome, whatever you'd like to refer to it as, it actually rises up and it releases a clipped hook. So this means if you've got a clipped down rig, such as a pulley rig, for example, the hooks locate in the clip, or the hook, I should say, locates in the clip. And upon impact with the water, pressure pushes the dome up and releases the hook. This one starts off in four ounces or 125 grams in new money and goes up to seven ounces, which is 200 grams. But again, a really popular lead. So moving on from the breakaway impact lead, breakaway obviously recognized the fact they developed a really effective bait clip and they created some more leads using exactly that same concept. Well, first of all, we've got the flatty lead. Now the flatty lead is basically a flat version of the impact lead, but without the wires. So when would you use this? Well, if you were fishing in estuaries for species such as flounder, gilt head bream, schooly bass, that kind of thing. If there wasn't a lot of tide running, you wouldn't need to be using wires. So a, a flat style plain lead such as this would be absolutely perfect. Now, if you were fishing a venue such as Chesil Beach in Dorset, where you were targeting place and you wanted to get a bit more distance, then you'd go for something like the Breakaway Continental Lead. Again, it features that bait clip, but look at the shape of that. That's gonna cast really well. It does cast really well. It's a very effective lead. So if there's a little bit of tide running, this thing will still hold bottom. It's, it's a kind of a compromise between a, a wired lead and a plain lead. A plain lead is just gonna roll around. A conventional bomb shape is just gonna roll around. The flatty lead would drag, but the pyramid style of the continental impact lead means it's gonna hold just enough. So as I say, if you're fishing for place and you want a little bit of movement, just to sort of come round in the tide ever so slightly, this would be the thing to go for. So moving away from breakaway, this would be one of the more exotic kinds of leads that you've probably seen. Uh, this is obviously a bright yellow colour. Well, I believe it is. I'm actually colour blind. It could be green, it could be yellow, but you can see it's a really dazzling sort of is it neon, I suppose they call it. It's a bright lead. Now, if you think back to the continental impact lead, I said about the distance that you could achieve and the fact that it would hold out in just a little bit of tide or perhaps move around just enough to attract place and, and species which are visual feeders. So the thinking behind this is that the bright color will attract fish. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that. The jury is still out. But the way I look at it is that little bit of extra colour, it's certainly not going to have a negative impact on things. It's worth giving a go. And a lot of anglers do swear by these leads. Right, so here we have a standard plain bomb lead. And again, really, really popular and super all round kind of lead. So if you are mackerel feathering, if you are fishing an area where you might lose a lot of tackle, something like this, just a really simple lead, 
If you were fishing over a rough seabed, you could use a rotten bottom arrangement just to make sure it was only the lead that got snagged and not the rig. It's an affordable lead, so you're not going to go wasting £1.80 or whatever it might be on an expensive kind of lead for that style of fishing. This is the kind of thing you want. If you're practicing your casting, this is a popular choice. Really simple, pear-shaped design, very, very popular. So if you're looking for a more affordable lead option, at VMO we sell the Namix lead and we also sell the SKM lead. Both of these are really popular with guys who just want to buy a basic lead with a basic bait clip and buy the wires separately. Now, these leads are actually pre-drilled, both the SKM and the Namix. When they're cast, a wire is pushed through the mould. It's then removed once the lead solidifies, leaving the holes in place to put your lead wires in. You push the wires through, bend them to shape so they form exactly the same style of anchor as the breakaway leads do. But you'll also notice on these, they've got built-in bait clips on the tail wires themselves. Again, it's a way of keeping the cost down. It means you do not need to incorporate a bait clip into your rig. It's already on the lead. Now, what you'll notice on the Namix lead is that it's got this flat profile back. So as the lead is traveling through the air, your bait is clipped down directly behind that flat back, which, you know, supposedly is going to make the whole thing more aerodynamic. And it does, in all fairness. The SKM lead on the other hand, it's a smoother, rounder profile at the back. What I would say is that some bait clips, if you were to use the Namix lead and not use the actual bait clip, which is part of the lead, if you were to use something like, for example, the Gemini Splashdown Solo clip, if that's tucked directly behind that flat back, you may not generate enough water pressure there to pop the disc up on the Splashdown clip and release the hook. Just something to bear in mind anyway. So chances are, if you're fishing a lot, you'll be buying your tackle in bulk. So why not do exactly the same thing with your leads? We sell packs of Varivas leads, 20 in a pack, plus the rollers, plus the wires, all in one big bundle for a really great price. Now, these leads are great. Perfect all-rounder, traditional kind of pear-shaped lead, pre-drilled for wires, or you could fish it plain, just like that. Perfect for fishing over rough ground, perhaps if you were fishing for wrasse down the side where you're going to lose a bit of tackle, or even just for sticking on your feathers. Like I say, perfect all-rounder as a plain lead, but you can wire it up as well. The holes are pre-drilled, push your wires through, add the rollers, form them as you wish, and you're done. So that was a tackle talk on fishing weights, leads, sinkers, I've just dropped one, whatever else you want to refer to them as. I hope you found it useful. Please take a look at the VMO YouTube channel for further content and I'll catch you again.